Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my latest video, and I would like to especially welcome the small army of new subscribers that I have got very recently. Um, my New Year's video kind of blew up, getting over a thousand views, 1,100 at this point of recording, and so, yes, welcome to the channel. I hope that you enjoy the videos that you've been seeing. I hope that you've enjoyed the How's the Weather daily shorts that should hopefully have been popping up on your, um, as a suggested video for you. Um, they are going to be carrying on for the rest of the year. Um, it's a project that I'm very passionate about. Um, but today... We're here to see a, another of my split base pours. Once again, um, it's a black and white split base pour. There are going to be some other split base pours coming up this year. I'm going to do a series of them, um, but having split colour base instead of just the black and white. Um, I actually did sit down just before Christmas and plan almost the whole year out, which is wonderful. I've got so many ideas. Um, but I'm uh, split base pours are probably going to be towards the end of the year, I think, or possibly before if I record, if I change my schedule to more than one video a week um, of the general creativity that I do. So I've spread the black out on one side and then on the other I'm spreading the white out. I spread the um, black and the white paint out just using the blow dryer. Some people use spatulas, some people tilt the paint all over the canvas, some people do this and then um, uh, use the hairdryer then tilt just to get a things a bit more uniform. I tend to find that I, using the blow dryer, I know where the paint is on the canvas, and it works for me. You can see in the background I'm there just levelling out the canvas a little bit, um, and I've also um, put a tray underneath where the canvas is, because at the very edge on this one, um, it was going to be dripping a bit, well, the paint could drip over the side of my workspace. Um, so yeah, I'm just blowing the paint off of the canvas. I know these videos actually look really quite wasteful with the amount of paint going off the sides. It is actually quite minimal. It's not a lot that goes off the sides. That comes with experience that you know roughly how much paint to go on the canvas. Um, in my case, as you will see in very many videos, <laughs> I always underestimate and end up tending to put a bit more paint on towards the end of spreading out the base coat. So now my base is poured and the camera has sorted out the, um, <sighs> the autofocus there. Um, I was just then deciding how I was going to put the paint down on the canvas. This is what I've called a rainbow feather. Um, so it's basically just the rainbow colours um, and then a standard Dutch pour. So I'm starting out with the red. I... Yep, that's the um, burgundy red. And I've just spotted a bit where I didn't quite have the right white at the side of the canvas. And then coming in with a... Uh, a brighter red. So you can see that I am doing a interesting thing where I'm putting 
some colours on the wispy bit to the sides and some not. So you had the burgundy, then the um, iridescent red-blue and iridescent orange. The iridescent orange going just along the middle there. And coming in with a teeny tiny bit. These are some leftover paints of the uh, Pebio Blue Violet. And I'm just coming in with primary yellow there down the middle. And then coming in with my next colour, which is the yellow green by Pebio, another iridescent colour. And now coming in with, uh, I believe that's primary cyan. And a iridescent, Pebio iridescent blue green. And I'm just, these are the leftover paints from a previous pour. So I'm just trying to get them to work. So I'm having to pull them out literally with the um, painting stick there. That was a purple colour, uh, um, oh, a light purple. And this is the darker purple that has just gone on. Uh, the violet colour. And I'm just using the heat wand to burst the air bubbles. Um, those of you that have watched the channel for a while will know that I am dyspraxic, so a butane torch is going to lead to things being on fire, so I do not use that. So instead, one of my workarounds is having a heat torch. It's an embossing tool for embossing crafts. And I've just mixed up a little bit more white to go over the top because I wanted the colours really to shine through a little bit more as they were blown out. And I lo just love, to be honest, I love this how it is. But it is going to look amazing once I start blowing the Blowing my design out. And I do really love doing Dutch pours, just getting the colours to flow over each other, creating so many different combinations. What I'm doing there is miming how I'm going to blow the paint out um, and deciding where I'm going to start out. So just going over the different bits and having the um, wispy bits on the side a different colour palette to or a more limited colour palette than the rest of the ribbon really gives such a cool effect and I love 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 this bit where I'm going over the the black because you get such a different effect on the black background. Those of you that watch the channel will know I do have a slight love affair with the black background. I feel it makes things pop out a bit more um, than the white background. But I have, I do both of them. Um, so there we go. You've got my bald bumps there as I'm just using a the silicon straw to um, blow out one section and I had to fix the um, side of the painting because my t-shirt had come into contact with it. I'm just blowing out some designs a bit more with the blow dryer now just where I want a bit more of a pop of colour coming through to make the design work better. I'm doing some finger painting there just really to try and get the feel of having a ribbon of colour running all the way through the entire 
the entire piece. It just works a bit more for the overall composition and drawing both of the sides into each other. Because you've got the bit starting on the middle there, then going through the other side. And I'm also just blowing out a bit more where I just want a little bit more of the black, playing with the design a bit more, just so it feels a bit more wispy. And the other part is I really love on these split base canvases the the colours going into each other on the split base. I just think that adds a lot more interest to the piece. I'm trying to get the various bits to um, balance out um, the kind of the amount of white and the amount of black. Going over once again with the heat wand because I've just blown some colours over each other. That's to burst some air bubbles and hopefully get some things coming through. And now I'm doing the big experiment. Just spraying the soap and water solution that I use to get a lot of champagne cells through my pieces just on the edge. And it worked. I didn't get the middle at all. There was no collateral damage. So the middle part of the piece is just the colours blowing over each other with the cells making the edges feel a lot more nebulous. And it is one hell of a gorgeous piece. I just love it. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Tell your friends to come over and watch a damn good art video. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye!